Tribe, Tiana T, yeah that's me, and I'm back at it again with another reaction video. So, I heard that Leslie Ina's mom has something to say. Somebody who's a non-factor, somebody who ain't got nothing to do with this, somebody who ain't even checking and mothering her daughter properly, cause she got her own internet out here looking sad, has something to say about the Queen and Clarence situation. So, let's see what she gotta say. I'm not watching that whole last interview cause it's way too long, and we're gonna get straight to the point because Neek, at night broke it down for us and got straight to the point so let's go ahead and react to neek at night and what the fuck lizzie's mom had to say Leslie. nope because on his thing he said that he was making five bands a club appearance so i'm sorry i'm running it back did he work when he dated leslie nope Cause on his thing, he said that he was making five bands, a club appearance, seven bands. <laughs> oh, he did that. He was doing that towards the end. Yeah, he was. He was doing club. Yes, that's true. He was doing club appearances. Were you, um, sound like Leslie to me. Uh, this is a question. Were you um like supporting him when he wanted to be like I guess Instagram famous or whatever? Is that Martin Lewis resurrected? Cause he be getting to the C. That sound like his voice. Um, we all. Well, pretty much, yeah, because I, uh... Pretty much, you a pretty much damn lie. When he, but before Queen came into the picture, yeah, he was... Because who says, oh, pretty much I'll support him? It's like either, hell yeah, I'll support him. Either you were or you were not that. Pretty much, you know you wasn't. I'm glad she didn't try to come out here and try to, like, blatantly lie like that, but, like... That was a horrible lie. Like, I seen you do that immediately. Come on, girl. Do his clothing line and caps, like baseball caps and stuff. And he gave me a hat. He wanted me to put it on for Instagram. And we were all supporting him. We were happy for that. That's why I don't know what he said about that. Financially, like, were you helping him financially, like, taking care of him? I think that's what Martin means. Well, oh, no, I meant, like, because I remember he sounded, like, in his video, he made it sound like, Leslie didn't like support him in what he wanted to do or whatever. Oh, oh, oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, of course she did. Oh my God. You know what? I stopped it. I don't watch all that stuff on um, YouTube. Just wanted to attack my daughter, but uh, of course she supported him. I have his hat for crying out loud. I have a picture with his hat on that I never. Let me get one thing clear real quick because I'm about to be in that type of business, but. Or I, I've had things that I wanted to do and I had friends that weren't supportive but they thought they were supportive. Just because you put a hat on and pose in the picture don't mean you support them. Like that's just like a hey I'm going to do it because you told me to but like you could feel when somebody genuinely is not supporting you. You have to be like oh yeah like come on you can do this or have ideas give him momentum like give him like you know encouragement like just like oh yeah I'll wear the hat or like oh yeah that's cool but like that don't sound like support to me, but I'm going to let you finish, girl. The posting on Instagram, because I was trying to take the perfect picture, of course, because I'm very perfectionist when it comes to shit like that. But of course she was supporting him. He was doing the clothing line, and they were about to do the couple stuff, the couple relationship video before Queen came into the picture. So they were actually about to do it together, make videos together? Yeah. Yeah. We were, we were, I remember when he bought his camera, off, why, when he bought the camera. Lying about... I don't understand why he keeps lying about the fact that we used to watch Queen and Chris. Oh, yeah, I don't we, that. we would reflect on that and, you know, that that potentially idea. use that for our own channel, you know? We was like Getting getting ideas, inspired yeah. by them. Mm -hmm. Did he so watch it in the way of learning or did he watch it in the way of, oh my God, I love Chris and Queen? <laughs> oh, was I mean, no, I don't think he, that ever came out of his mouth. If anything, that probably would have came out of my mouth. I don't think I said I love them, but I did enjoy them a lot. So why did you make it seem like that? You made it seem like that was like y'all's idols. But I'm going to let y'all finish. And yeah. uh, we definitely did watch them together. And we were getting inspired to get by their relationship. I mean, I feel like that was the, really the only couple that we saw on YouTube. Aside from DDG, because we used to watch DDG too, and I think he started going out with Kennedy at that time. I don't remember too much. I'm not gonna be too hard about that, but I do remember us watching it. And he I'm back. I had to get a little Vaseline. It's getting a little dry. Mentioned in his video that we were 
gonna do YouTube together. Yeah, they were gonna do YouTube, and he he had his whole life. Pause. He said I potentially wanted to do it with her. He never confirmed that he was going to do the business with her, but of course, like that was his girl at the time, so of course he wanted to do it with her. But yeah, he had his shirt, he had his top, but you know. When he so is that, that is that is that kind of why you feel lighted by Queen because that was supposed to be you and him doing the YouTube and 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 being like couples go. Good question. Yeah, it was just. What was your, your guys' questions again? I said, um, you heard that's them. a reason why you kind of feel slighted by her because you wanted to, you guys are set to do videos together and you feel like she kind of snaked like your kind of, you know, couples go that you guys were planning on doing. I knew you too far into that. Honestly, it's more me and him personal. Like that's something that me and him spoke about and we were supposed to do. What you here for if you're not about to be honest? Like, if you're going to try to tell something, tell it all. Like Usher said, if you're going to tell it, then you got to tell it all. So don't be, like, trying to, like, pick and choose what you're going to say. Like, sis, if you're going to have an interview, if it's going to be a, an exclusive interview, drop the tea. And it just sucked because I didn't have that, that fame on you. Uh, I, I didn't have that clout on YouTube. I didn't have followers like that you know what i'm saying I didn't so it's jealousy you were nobody so obviously it would take longer for me to achieve those goals on and for team. him and for him to achieve his goals and his cold so, line so of course you know <laughs> she already had that platform so it would have been much easier for him you know i mean it is what it is uh, and it's, it, it explains itself if you if you hurt her it explains itself she didn't have it. She's really gonna hate me now. <laughs> I know, but it's true. We didn't have it. Who were you? Who know? Who knew Leslie? Um, like who knew you? So, um, somebody said, "What was your thoughts on Lee? And what was your relationship with Lee?" Yeah, you guys are asking me that, huh? Uh, it just says, "What was your relationship with Lee or thoughts on Lee?" Uh, I feel like I spoke about Lee in one of my videos, so probably on my live yesterday, but I love Lee. Uh, again, I am the only child, so a lot of people don't know that. And that explains it all right there. I'm going to ear up when this video is done. Uh, I know people were talking about that this track. Oh, my sisters. That's, those are not my sisters. And I will clear that. I think I clear that. I think I did, but um, I am doing, and Lee was like a sister to me too, a bigger sister. We used to, she used to cook all the time for me, you know, I, I enjoyed her food, we sang out together in her house with Clarence, like, it, we had a good relationship. It died down, of course, when they got, when she got involved with Queen. Well, look at that there. Leslie came on an exclusive interview to try to tell us nothing, to only keep trying to point the fingers when you've already been proven that what you thought was wrong, she's already been proven that she's been jealous. She's already proved that she was jealous and now she just confirmed that, yeah, I, I really did think that was supposed to be me. Cause that's all I heard. All I heard was he was supposed to do the videos with me and he never did. But even if he did do the videos with me, I was going to disrupt the energy because I felt like I wasn't as popular. It was going to take longer. So I already felt like I wasn't good enough. And I said this in one of my other videos, but just because you feel like that, they don't mean the other person feel like that. But you can't project that onto them when you sitting there and keep thinking that you're not all that or thinking that, hey, I'm not good enough, then eventually you won't be good enough. And that's exactly what happened. You sat there and caused all them problems to where he was considering talking to other girls. He's moving out his relationship to be happy. So I think in that aspect, she can't blame nobody once again, but Clarence, because Clarence stepped out on a relationship many times. You gotta blame yourself too, because you said you was a lot to deal with. So like, I mean, can you blame him for stepping out? Can you blame him for stepping out and then running into Queen, somebody that's more aligned with his goals? Like, can you blame him for that? It seems like you felt like he was never gonna get there with you and with you saying that that sounds to me like you didn't really believe in him 
you didn't believe in y'all because it's one thing to be like, yeah, I'll just wear your hats. But like, if you're not promoting, if you're not putting no belief behind it, I'm a really, I'm a really strong believer in your words become your reality. Your thoughts also become your reality. And if you're sitting there thinking like that, thinking negative, thinking and have all that self doubt, you are dragging him down energetically. You are dragging your relationship down too because you sit here thinking of the worst, so only the worst is going to like appear. So, with her saying that because I didn't have clout like Queen, shows your animosity once again, shows your jealousy, number two, but also shows that you didn't support him and you didn't have what it takes to be a YouTube person. And now it seems like you're trying to come here now to get clout and see if you actually do it and try to make him feel bad that if you do make it, that it could have been y'all. But Clarence done fucked around and got happy. Clarence done fucked around and found somebody like more in alignment with him. Clarence done fucked around and found somebody that he could be free with. Something that he couldn't be with Leslie. So, I don't know what her purpose is, but I also really don't know what the purpose of her mom coming into the interview. I guess is she there to moderate, but it seems like her mom's only here to instigate. And as a mother, you should leave better for your daughter, your only child, because she ain't got nobody else to look up to. She ain't got nobody else to check her. The mom got to check her. And then Clarence just made a video saying that her mom and her people was more of family and more of better influences than her own people. And I can see that definitely from this interview. From this interview, her mom was like, he didn't have the money. He wasn't doing that. He wasn't working the clubs up. Maybe at the end. Or like, yeah, she didn't have clout. You you want nobody. Like, his, her mom does not really sound like a person that gives respectable advice. Her mom doesn't seem like she's a person that gives adequate advice. Advice that's really going to thoroughly help you. That's going to help your greater being. Her mom seems like she only gives petty advice. Advice that's just kind of like, a well, shit, like... You need to do that because that nigga playing. Or like, oh, he and Petty, drop his ass. Like, you know, like that that bitter baby mom syndrome or that I ain't never had no good man, so I really don't know what a good man look like, so I'm going to tell you all men ain't shit mentality. That's what it really sound like. But it sounds like she also got that victim mentality from her mother because her mother's still pointing fingers at Clarence trying to be there for her daughter and everything. But as a mother, you let your daughter go out sad. But I see why because you don't have any solid foundations either of how to properly lead lead with kindness be a queen such as don't cry over this dude don't be sad over spilled milk because right now they crying over spilled milk so i really do believe now i mean it's really apparent that they here for clout but it seems like the mom want the clout too and the mom probably pushed her into social media saying well he got all his bag he did all that go get yours that's really what it sounds like because what the mom got to do with this interview and why the mom more close to their phone than Leslie? I feel like they both fly in. I feel like they both snakes. And I feel like Leslie needs better friends. And Leslie, unfortunately, needs better family. I think she should really let him go. I see it in her little life. She's talking about something. I'm not like that now. Now, like, you, you got one time to mess up. Then I'm out the door. You still hurt, sis. Because... The men coming at you, they don't know you. They don't they don't know what you've been through. They don't have nothing to do with what you've been through. So they do something that triggers you. You have to communicate that like an adult. You have to let them know like, hey, I don't like that. Or hey, that offended me. Or this is something that I'm not with. You have to communicate that properly. You just leaving still shows that you're immature. It still shows that you need healing. Like the Xboxer said. It still shows that you got a lot of deep buried down hurt and that you're not aiming at the correct person and appears to me that your mama can't help you because your mama need the same help that's all i gotta say on that because this ain't my relationship once again this ain't my ex this one ain't got nothing to do with me but it's on the internet so it, it it's kind of everybody business everybody tea that they wouldn't like kind of sip the tea but you know that's all i gotta say on that so good night y'all subscribe to my channel Comment down below, let me know your thoughts, and also like this video, and I'll see you on the next video.